So this episode of Ark, I'm scrapping, actually, because I didn't do a lot in it that is going to help with the end game. you know, defeating the map. We just kind of bred our dinosaurs, so I could show you that. But I do want to show you this part of the episode, because I would like an explanation. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? Wait. Wait, what? Wait, uh, did that just happen? Wait. Do they come from there? So this all happened at kind of a weird time. Uh, not planning on recording, but when you're playing a series like this, you're gonna have a lot of moments where you don't plan on recording and you wind up recording anyway. This is the area that I got oil at. If I kept that part in the video, which I don't know why I wouldn't have. Red beacon here. Beacon level requirements on the island and Ragnarok, that whole deal, the center, are 60 versus Aberration, where it's 80, so big difference there. I never got a red beacon on Aberration. I think I got to level 80. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did. Can't remember, man. It was like 47 episodes, but geez. So we're in the middle of a rescue mission, actually, which is why this whole timing is very awkward, because I don't want to pass up a red beacon, but I also need to get my stuff back. But what's in here could be more valuable than all the base stuff I had in there. Um, diving for oil... Got tranquilized, GG well played, nothing I could do. So that kind of sucked. But hey, could all be for better because possibility I would have gone home after collecting the oil and have never seen this. And this could have one of the best items in it. So trying to think positively and where I died out is out in the middle of the ocean. So the only thing I brought with me, I'm trying this out, is a parachute. I'm just going to dive straight into where I was, but holy crap, you are bright. Hello. Oh my days. I love you. I love... Oh, I love you. Oh, I gotta get a screenshot. I know I'm like in a time constraint right now, but I need to get a screeny. Give me a screeny. Wait. Some a bit. Okay, there we go. Alright. I'm a little bit... I, I want to make sure I got the perfect one. Nothing but saddles. Ancleo, Megaloceros, and some other saddles you're gonna give me. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Okay, my bird is right out there. I need to get to my bird first off and fly over. The arena that you fight the bosses in, there's apparently two bosses that fight you. I don't recall what they are. I think it's like a dragon and some other thing at once. So, that'll be fun. That should be a lot of fun. Oh, no. Shit. Oh, my God. You reached that far. I love you. I love you so much. You're always there for me. Let's see if you stay there for me. All right. I'm going to need you to hover while I just dive down and go for a YOLO attempt. I got tranquilized immediately last time I went down here. I just need to at least reset my items. I don't really care about much else. Went too far down, I think. Doesn't matter. I'm going back up. There was the oil I was trying to get. Come on, Babu. I got you, man. I got you. You got me. You got me. That's what I meant. Oh, mom. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, sh Oh, they're, oh, they're ichthys. Thank God. Am I not flying? Or swimming? Hello? There we go. I wasn't swimming for a second there. We good, but we're encumbered. Not by much, though. Actually, I could throw out a good amount of stuff. Uh, you and... Do I want to pop? I don't really care about flak armor right now. Uh, that's fine. Can I move now? Yes, we can. All right, got my stuff back. Cool. We're looking good. So, what do we get here? Oh, Mastercraft, uh, patchy saddle. And, uh, blueprints for a Journeyman Ankleo saddle, because apparently... Oh, that's terrible. They're blueprints. This is a PvE server. I don't care about... I don't care about blueprint quality, or saddle quality. Armor doesn't matter. 
Maybe it does. I'm not sure if it does, actually. Maybe it does. I don't recall. 2300 hide, 1200 fiber. The hide is the biggest thing there. 2300. And a uh, Megalosaurus saddle. These are blueprints. Not really my favorite red beacon hunt, but hey, the fact that a red beacon spawns here is actually pretty sick. So let's talk about what we're doing right now. We need to defeat this entire server, this entire map rather, in 30 days. So we got 27 more episodes, I think, by the time this goes up. This could be episode four, so maybe 26. There are 10 different caves that I need to get to and succeed in just a bare minimum to be able to get the artifacts done. There's 10 different artifacts. If you guys watched Aberration, there's only three. Big difference. There's 10 here, which is insane. Pause. Gotta break the bad news on this one. I'm gonna talk a couple of times in this video that there are 10 different caves for 10 different artifacts. Ignore everything I'm saying, because according to Reddit, there's not 10 separate caves, even though there should be. Some of the artifacts are apparently just hidden in areas around the map. So, little upsetting. Very upsetting. This kind of changes my conversation a little bit, because we might be able to get it done a bit faster. But yeah, when it comes to leveling, or when it comes to completion of the bosses, we have to also throw out the idea that I might fail the first time around. Good preparation says that you need like 20 T-Rexes and a few other... I don't remember which dinosaurs, but a few other dinosaurs when you go in there, and some firearms and ammunition to be able to defeat the smaller ones as well as the big guys. I don't think we're not focusing on defeating it in uh so okay so let's talk about this let's go take a look at the items that we need here because i don't think i'm gonna focus on doing alpha difficulty because first off i don't even think that i could do that solo we're just here to beat the bosses we don't have to do it the hardest way possible but we want to make sure we complete everything that's here i don't believe that there's any other bosses aside from this one here um let me see here generate ragnarok portal so that's to the Ragnarok uh, boss lair. So again. Oh, you only need... Oh. You only need the... Artifacts. All ten of them. Okay. It's this. Okay, so that's the level 70 portal. The level 80 portal requires... Basilosaurus Blubber, Megalania Toxin... A Megalodon Tooth, well, 10 of them. Starts with such a skin, Sauropod Vertebrae, Spinosaurus Sail, Tylecolo Hook Claw, whatever, Titan Bow of Venom, and Tusithius, Tusatuthus Tentacle, rather. 10 of all of those. I'd imagine you don't get those from Alphas because it wouldn't make sense to need 10. Those all look like just killing those kind of dinosaurs. So we could do this as well, too. Um, and then over here, this is just... 25 of all of them so that might be a bit harder time frame wise maybe even finding them but the thing is the minimum survivor level requirement is 90. i'm not really concerned about level requirement even though i don't think that i ever got to 90 on ragnarok so that might be a challenge i don't know i would love to hear your thoughts on what you think that is good for this because i am 100 percent down for only needing to do these 10 artifacts and then defeat the boss because again if we're not using the upgrade station we're not going to be invincible going into every cave it's not going to be a deal of here's an episode where we do a cave congratulations we succeeded next episode we do a cave congratulations we succeeded there will probably be a few episodes where here's a cave shit we died six times i gotta you know it was a failure and thinking about it we could also spend all the artifacts, go into there. I don't know if it gets rid of them. I think it does. And die. And lose. I'm not sure if that means we would have to do everything over again. Like every artifact. Which, I guess at that point you know how the caves work. It would just come down to having the gear. But we could fail in the boss thing. Which is kind of weird. Because I don't want to defeat the boss in like episode 20. Because I'm like, damn, if I fail I need 10 more episodes to get back up. Which makes sense. The last episode might just have to be the boss regardless, and it might have to be a bunch of attempts if I don't... Like, it might just have to be the success or failure, because I can't just do the boss in episode 17, and if I finish it, that's the series over. Oh my god, do 13 episodes of just taming dinosaurs? I could, but that kind of takes away from the, like, 
feeling of the ser the series. So we might just save this until the last episode, regardless of anything, even if we're fully prepped and fully ready. And I guess even if we get all 10 artifacts, we could always stockpile up and attempt the higher dungeons. Oh, you also need Argentavis Talons. I didn't even notice that. I need Argentavis Talons as well, too. That's at the top right there. Okay. Why is that at the top? It's weird. Hmm. I don't know. You guys gotta let me know. But I think we're, what we're gonna be doing right now is I'm gonna go ahead and I've got food. I've got a lot of stuff on me. Things that I really don't need. So I'm gonna take all the weight off my body. Toss it into here. Uh, you know what? Anything that's in, like, my temporary or, like, my hot bar, I'm gonna throw into this. Because I can just take it right back. So pike. Okay, I probably should keep the pike on me, of all things, I would say. We can go ahead and put away all this here. Keep the food. We'll keep the... Don't really need a transfer tool. We don't need the arrows. We don't need any of the wood. What other gear do I need on right now? Leggings. Okay, I need some leggings. So I'm gonna get myself some flak leggings. We are gonna go on a beacon run. Probably one of the only times we'll do it. Actually, that's not true at all. I just want to take advantage of the fact that I'm already level 60 and see what kind of really good gear we can get out of life. Out of everything. Because, again, if we want a better flak, we need to find it. We can't just craft it. And the fact that we have this flak over here, where is it? The blueprint down this way for 173. This is terrible. Right, like this, this flak guy right here, 173, we're looking for like 300. But the fact that this is a blueprint is beautiful because it's not just a one-time loss. So even though it might require 700, 800 mil sometimes around, we are absolutely looking for blueprints. No doubt. So, I don't know where beacon spawns are. I'm probably going to research that right now. We're going to fly around, find some beacons, and today will be a really fun, like, loot grabbing episode. Let's go! Alright, uh, well, I force sealed my guy. Holy shit. Is it just saddles again? I think it was just saddles. What do we got? Megalosaurus saddle. That's pretty sick. And a plesiosaur saddle. Those are both very good. Wow. Pretty unlo- I- am probably gonna wind up dropping all the saddles because I- I just don't- I don't find- we don't have a need for them. Yeah, I'll probably wind up dropping them. I'm just gonna get the heartache over now. Plesiosaur, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Goodbye, guys. Have a nice flight. I'm gonna go fly faster now. So after flying around and finding a bunch of yellow, purple, and a couple of red beacons and getting pretty much nothing but utter garbage for what we're looking for, I came to a realization. Wait a second. Wait, everything just changed. There's deep sea loot crates in this. Why did I not even think of that? And there's actually a lot of them. Especially around where I live. Oh my god, that might be the play. If you guys don't remember what DC loot crates are, because you never watched the first series that we did, or just don't know, DC loot crates are very rare loot crates that are always red. They're always the same highest tier. Uh, you have to be level 80 to get them. And I think there's only two of them. Wait, hold on, let me see here. On Ragnarok, five to six deep sea loot crates are lootable at a time. The respawn time needs further testing. Okay, so they don't know what the respawn time is. Uh, let me put up a photo right here of where they are. There's a lot of them. Holy hell. I have you found deep sea and deep sea high. Wait, are there different kinds of... Wait. Oh, there are different... Wait, hold on. So I was wrong. There are two different kinds of deep sea loot crates that you can get. There's high, or there's regular and high. Regular has a quality range of 325 to 400%, and it will contain two items. Whereas deep sea high, instead of 325, it's 340. And instead of 400, it's 430%. So just a little bit higher quality, which could actually make all the difference. On Ragnarok, there's five to six of them that spawn at the same time. We need scuba gear. And we need scuba gear now. When do we unlock scuba gear? 81. If we're really going to do this without... 
the only like the tricky thing about it is there's such a high chance like with anything i guess it, it's just like a regular beacon getting a chest plate that you need getting a shotgun that you need is rare because there's also the chance that you get a saddle that you don't need a type of armor that you don't need like we for example could get some fur which might do really well in a cave but not be end game material we could get ghillie which could be really good in a cave but again not end game material or we could get a really good wooden shield a wooden club a sword which i don't need a patchy saddle a plesiosaur saddle whatever all of those would be garbage but at the same time, we could get riot gear. We could get a pump action shotgun. We can get a fabricated sniper rifle. There's a lot of really good things we could get from it. Crossbow as well, too. So it's a gamble. It's just a lot higher chance. But we need to be level 81 for that. It's just making me think, why am I spending my time going around looking for red beacons when the... Like, I remember opening and searching for these things for hours every day on the island. The quality difference is drastic compared to red beacons. Like, we opened up two red beacons, and we got some mediocre saddles. On here, if we were to get those red beacons, those saddles would be, if it were those, Mastercraft or Ascendant at minimum and be massive percentage multipliers. Now think of that for items and armor. We could get fur gear that's better than the flak that we have on currently. Without a doubt. We need scuba gear for that. We're here to beat this series in this map, right? So as much as I want to go around looking for beacons, we can't do anything subpar. I think I might... Whoa. I think I might need to get level 81 somehow. Level grinds. And really just go out searching because like i said levels don't really mean anything in this it's not like we want to stay a lower level for any reason at all once you get to level we could be level 100 for all we know it's not going to help us defeat the game oh man how do you level quickly we were already building so much yeah i'm gonna have to we're probably gonna have to make like some uh what's the the there's got to be something that you make in a cooking pot that multiplies your, like, uh, is it broth of enlightenment, I think it is? I think the broth of enlightenment is the thing that multiplies your XP. So if we got, like, a ton of resources and made whatever the highest grade thing was for the broth of enlightenment. Good textures, by the way, Ark. Yeah, okay. I think we might have to do that. Ragnarok's beautiful, and I want to do nothing else but explore it right now. Let me actually see what this would look like in Gamma 1.5. Ooh, very pretty. Very pretty. Back to light. Okay. Let's do some research. Let's figure out how to level. Again. Let's think about the game plan and what we're doing. To get experience in the fastest way possible, according to Reddit, and I'm pretty sure I've done this in the past too, these mortar and pestles in front of us here are going to be our best friends. Think narcotics. Think spark powder. Think tranquilizer darts. Think stuff like that. A lot of crafting and a boatload of experience because we need to farm a bunch of stone and flint, wood, you burn that to make spark powder, then you combine the charcoal from the wood and you make gunpowder. It's all a giant process and there's so much experience gained off of it. Now, to emphasize that, we also want the broth of enlightenment. I was correct in saying that that does boost your experience to 150%. I don't think it's 150% extra, I think it's just 50% extra, so 150 in total. Still, we want as much experience as we can get. That's made in a cooking pot. We'll need a few different uh, crops, a few different vegetables, and a couple of berries, I believe, to be able to make it. Or it might just be vegetables. I think it's only vegetables, no berries. I'm going to go grab that beacon while I'm talking. So we'll get the, the crops set up here. The only other thing is you need five woolly rhino horns per broth of enlightenment. Who turned the volume up so loud? Dang it. I'll turn it down next episode, I'm sorry. So, we gotta kill some woolly rhinos. Thankfully, they're common, and the area where they're common is a place we've been to before. It's just an ideal of not freezing and making sure we get five. The nice thing about it, though, is the broth lasts for 20 minutes. So, really, we might only need one and just a ton of supplies and a ton of mortar and pestles to do it all at once instead of waiting 
That way it won't take longer than 20 minutes and we don't have to kill more woolly rhinos. Because I don't know what the drop rate is for horns. I'd imagine you can't get more than one horn off one woolly rhino, which means you probably got to kill more than five woolly rhinos to get the horns. So not the best, but after I get home from getting this beacon right here, which is going to be like my final proof that these beacons are not worth getting right now. So this is what we need to talk about. I finally got armor, and it's a blueprint. Beautiful. But it's chitin, and it's blue. Apprentice. Oh, Ark, you're killing me. So yeah, beacons, I don't think are worth it at all. That was a good little confirmation point right there. So, I don't know if we want to focus on getting fur armor, or just going in with flak and not dying going into the the frozen and then just getting out of there really quickly because i don't want my uh Tran on to die but we need to use him to get there in the first place let's set up the crops get everything cooking let's see exactly what we need hold on for the broth enlightenment we need 10 mejo berries uh we do need berries 10 mejo berries two carrots two corn on the cobs two potatoes two onions and one black pearl and one water. Oh, you need black pearls. Oh, I need black pearls. I forgot about black pearls. That shouldn't be too hard to get. I don't know. Maybe it will be. All right, well, let's get the crops set up first and just we'll tackle one thing at a time. Crops first. Maybe Black Pearl's next. I found out that in the Highlands, which is an area in the Northeast, usually where players go to start on Ragnarok, the vegetables spawn naturally. It's the only arc map, I believe, that has naturally spawning vegetables, so I didn't have any idea that existed. But apparently, we don't need to set up a farm. So I didn't set up a farm. We're gonna go kill some woolly rhinos. All right, so I, I was jamming the music and forgot to even record this part, but as you can see, what the hell was this? Oh, I'm, I'm good. Just a Perlovia dude. I'm good. I'm good. Everybody's, everybody's fine. Hey, bird. Let's go, boy. Uh, wait. Did he take the... Wait. 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 Did he take... Oh, no, he didn't. Okay, cool. So, we got the woolly rhino horn. Um, my bird kicks ass. I thought it was going to be really hard. It ain't. Four spins just pile drive that dude. I don't know what level he was. I think it's sitting at level 130, unless I read that wrong. I probably read that wrong, but my dude kicks ass, so we should be able to kill any woolly rhinos that we need to, to get the five. Hell yeah. Okay, sweet. So those guys aren't a problem. It's just a matter of locating them since they really don't attack that well at all. Does someone explain to me why we have Carnos just glowing in purple and... Okay, interesting. Well, Woolly Rhino down here regardless got a couple carrots in, so that's nice, I guess. Uh... Horde mentality, I'd imagine? Like, they're in a pack together? What's the red? Why did they got circles above their names? I don't have any binoculars on. I don't have any mods for that. That's, I mean, probably, I, I doubt that has any, would have anything to do with mods anyway. Uh, trying to regain some stamina. I did not go far enough out. Ugh, I gained back a little bit, but I can't do, uh... I can't do a zap yet. Yeah, so I, I do chunk a good amount of damage out of these guys every time. It's just like, you know, when you don't have stamina, you can't really do much here. I'm trying to combat my, uh... Oh, no! No, 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 no. Uh, shit. Are you guys gonna fight the rhino now? Th yeah. Thankfully... So the nice thing about this is that the rhinos actually drop, uh... I got some pell off that. See that bag right there? They drop the, uh... Oh, you know what? Shit. I'm really starting to hurt. What's my health? Where am I at right now? 60. I got, like... I don't have a lot of time to get this and run. Only problem is I need these guys away from here. I need to, like, lure them. Hey, do you guys want to come with me? Real quick. Yeah, come on, come on. You stupid hyenas. Come on. Show you how stupid you really are. You don't even realize it, I bet. Come on, guys. That bag is going to disappear in a second. God damn it. Oh, I'm about to risk it all for the biscuit. 
just to get that freaking stupid bag. What am I at? 42? I'm about to risk it all. I'm gonna risk it all. I'm doing it. That bag's gonna disappear. We're yeeting. Shit. We're yeeting and we're eating. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, Terrorbird. Ah. ah. Yeeting and I'm eating. Let's go. Alright. Got it. With 31 health left. Jesus Christ. The problem is there's a lot of cold surrounding here, so I want to pull away. We are at... What do we have? We've got two rhino horns on us and two in our inventory. We need one more. We need one more. It's been a wild ride. I forgot the tedious thing about Ark is trying to find specific dinosaurs because they don't spawn very frequently at all. So it's not like there's a bunch of them roaming around like mammoths, sadly. There's not a lot of rhinos. Level 12, or level 20. So there's a level 20 and a level 50 roaming around. God, that sucks. I'll have to kill them both, unfortunately, but... Yeah, so we need one more, and we are absolutely going to go back in there and do it. Before we leave, I just... That's really good. We're doing really well. So I thought, I'm really angry at myself, and there's no way in hell that I'm actually dying this way, but there is... Oh, stop looking at the screen. I don't want to admit it to myself. I was just watching a stream for... I ran out of stamina on my bird, and I was at, like, half health anyway. <sighs> God damn it. I don't have a second way to get here. Oh, how am I gonna... There's one thing I can do to make this not horrible. And I don't know if I have enough HP to do it. I'm going to transfer everything to my bird as quick as possible. As quickly as possible. Let's do it. That's all I can do. I'm dead here, unfortunately. What have you Great camera done? angle. Well done. Okay, so my bird's on neutral. I did change that a while ago. Ugh. Is there any way I could get, like, close to where my bird was, or is that not possible? Viking Bay 3, I think. I think this is where I need to be. I think. I, I'm just gonna have to make a run for it in some really stupid terrain. Just to get a hold of my Oh, actually. This might be good. This might be good. Yeah, I'm in the bitter cold. Problem was, I wasn't in the snow. But I think I need to go up top of here to even find my bird. Because it was in an angle I wouldn't be able to reach, I don't think. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is why I need a GPS. Well, the GPS wouldn't have helped anyway, because that nah, wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, GPS wouldn't have mattered. Okay. Uh, well, the beacon's gone, and I don't know where my bird is. Half health. Shit. Was my bird all the way over there? Oh, it was. My bird was all the way on that end. It's, he's not over here. All right, fuck it. Ah! Okay. So... I need a redo. Imagine I live somehow. What have you done? Right, I need a redo. Ah! All right, freezing cold, taking damage now. That fall damage would have been really nice to not have to do, but, you know, that's not the same yellow beacon. No, that's... Yellow beacon happened a while ago. That would have gone down by now. Shit, no! God damn it, please tell me I'm going to be able to get around it somehow. I've never outran one of these guys before. But I think I managed. No, I didn't. Truly, I didn't. Nope, I didn't. I really didn't. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. I have to just go down here. Restart. If he doesn't still find me somehow. Oh, I took damage from that. Really? Shit. Okay, well, I think I managed to escape, which is amazing. And this obviously isn't where my bird is because I'm taking damage. Or I'm not taking damage. I guess I'm not really looking for my dead body anymore. I'm just looking for my bird. 
in all honesty what i should be doing right now is going to tame another pteranodon and uh just doing that right i should i should just do that <laughs> fine i'll still look around a little bit but i think i have to tame another pteranodon to find him hey dino want to do me the honors All right, I need to tame a terrain on to get back. God! This is my temporary level 50 tame, by the way. Not the, uh, you probably knew that. All right, well, I've got the location of where it is and the monitor to my left here. I'm just trying to mirror what it looked like because at the moment, I am too far out. Yeah, I'm way too far out, actually. Uh, It was right around here, I think. I'm pretty sure. Because I've got the view coming from this way behind me here. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's like this. Okay, so my guy will be around here. Let's give me some more around here. Just got to make sure my stamina doesn't drain. That's an Argentavis. Okay. Not my bird. <laughs> Looking for my bird, please. Thank you. Uh, the nice thing is that now that I've located kind of the area of where this happened... I don't even know what just killed my bird. What is a euphemism? Euternus? What even is that? Why have I never heard of it before? Oh, I'm not stuck with this guy, am I? Hold on. Arc Euternus. What just killed my bird? Oh, it's the... Oh yeah, that guy's not pretty. Great. Well, now I've been stuck with a harsher reality. I would really love to not lose all my stuff right now. Okay, so what do I have on me that's weighted heavy, heavy right now? Because I need to make some sacrifices here. Things I just don't care about. Whatever, get rid of the meat, whatever, doesn't matter. The hide I'm keeping, I need that. Uh, I don't... Uh, God. It was right down here. Yeah, this is this is the rock. Okay. How do I even... D didn't the bird, like, travel this way a little bit once I died? I thought the bird traveled this way a little bit. Maybe the bag is on the ground here. I'm really not holding a lot of hope to find a random bag on the ground. It's already been like two minutes. I think that's the timer for it. Well, uh, there's no way it would have gone up here, right? No, there's no way it could have. I'm pretty sure the timer's already expired. Like, where's the sucker? It's right there. There's the boy. He's not even angry at me. Why'd my bird get pissed off at him? He's probably aggressive. He's just not attacking me for some reason. Who really knows? Oh! Is this it? I don't even think I was that excited. <laughs> like, I'm trying to check myself. 
How disappointed am I? Not very. Another bag. Likely not it, though. But we can always... Yeah, a lungs. Sure. Was that the lungs of the guy who messed my bird? All right, well... We don't really have a lot of time to mourn in this series, unfortunately. And the beacon I was gonna go to despawn. We don't really have a lot of time to mourn in this series like I wish we did, but... How are you all surviving and happy? Why couldn't mine be? I set him to neutral. He wasn't aggressive. Would passive have been better? The dude would just get his ass kicked, right? Because that's still a thing. Last time I... I just leaked everywhere. Last time... I remember passive being a thing. If you set your bird to passive and he started getting attacked, was it because I I planted him down feet first under the ground or feet on the ground that he didn't fly up and just run away? Because you get attacked by a guy that doesn't fly. All right, I'm gonna end this one here. Enough heartbreak. Enough. Just enough. It's enough heartbreak. I'm gonna end this one here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to let me know. Uh, a lot of off-camera action coming your way because there's no way in hell that I'm taming another trade on on-camera. You'll just see me when I've got one. And I might do some, like, power leveling on him to try and get his stamina up off-camera as well. Because not only was that a level 150, it was a really high stamina. And it was a perfect tame, too. No percentage drop or anything. So, that stings. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Welcome to Ark. It's going to get kind of tilt-worthy, and I'm sure with the uh, pace that we're trying to take this series, this is not going to be the only time, or the last by far. So, see you guys next time. Ciao!